Can you just give us three tips for everybody in this hall? What can we all do to live better? So I think the first would be sleep. How much? How much is enough? It's not about how much. It's about how good the quality of your sleep is. Oof, I knew there so, couldn't be an easy answer. Some people answer. can sleep for five hours, deep quality, wake up energetic. Some people can sleep for nine hours and wake up tired. It is the quality of sleep. And today we need to understand that sleep deprivation is one of the root causes of most diseases. We need to understand most diseases that we're talking about today, diabetes, cancer, they're inflammatory diseases caused by inflammation. While we sleep, inflammation automatically reduces. So you can keep popping anti-inflammatory pills and curcumins and gingers and all of your stuff that you have every day. But if you don't sleep well at night, okay, your body does not heal you. So that would be number one, sleep. The second would be your emotional health. I can't tell you, if I had to put a percentage to it, I would say 90% of our patients who come to us, the root cause of their disease has started in their mind and manifested in their body. Share a simple story with you. Four days ago, I had this lady who came into me. She brought her daughter who had eczema all over her body. And uh, she brought her in for a consult. And then she said, uh, you know, Luke, two days ago, I got eczema on one finger. One finger was completely filled with eczema. And she said, I believe what you say. She's saying the night before, the night before, she's saying, I asked the universe, please take my daughter's eczema away and give it to me. 24 hours, this happened three days ago, she has eczema on one finger of her body. Till that time, she was completely okay. You see, the mind is a very powerful tool and it can destroy us as well. Look at the amount of people over here. The power of everyone's mind, it can be used to build something beautiful or it could be used to destroy as well. So we're losing control of our mind today, the way people are reacting to stress. And if our emotional health is not good, we will have disease or we will not be able to heal. Most sickness starts in the mind, which is why I said mindset. When we keep changing our mindset, some people get cancer and they believe it's all over. It will be all over. Some people get cancer and say, I'm stronger than this. Most of them heal. So emotional stress. And again, everyone says, oh, but this is life. I have stress. You see, the human mind finds a way to justify everything. You can have all the stress in the world, but it's how you take that stress. Most people have attachment to their stress. So if I lose something means my identity is gone, my social status is gone, and all of that stuff. And that's what depresses us. Everyone has a problem. Everyone has a problem, but it is how you face it. So when we tell people meditate, like Tahira said, find a path where you have faith. These are real things because it grounds you. It grounds you. So today I may wake up with all the stress in the world, but I am grounded because of my faith, my practice, what I do. And that stress doesn't make me sick. So emotional stress, number two, number two. Number three, again, it is not a food. It is not a superfood. So if people are waiting for me to list down the top three superfoods, that's all on Google. It doesn't really work. There are so many people who take superfoods. It doesn't mean their life is going to change or their disease is going to go. The third thing is self-discipline. I cannot tell you, if anyone thinks about anything they want to achieve in their life or they haven't achieved it or sickness, first look at self-discipline. Most people struggle to lose weight today. Self-discipline. Again, self-discipline. Whether you're trying to heal a disease, you're trying to change your relationship, you're trying to build a career, it comes down to self-discipline. It is the bitter and the ugly truth that no one wants to accept because self-discipline is difficult. It is difficult. Today we don't have self-discipline, so we say, well, let's work out five days in a week and binge drink on the weekend. You've just undone the five days of good work and the next five days. And then we think, oh, now I need a more complicated diet. I need to move on to keto. I need to become a vegan. I need to do all these extreme things because I don't have self-discipline. There's nothing wrong with being a vegan. None of that stuff. It's just an example. Oh, let me, oh, I ate a samosa. Now, Google, 500 calories. Let's burn 500 calories on the treadmill and I'll burn out that samosa. Unfortunately, the body doesn't work on the principle of math. It works on physiology, chemistry, biology. You cannot burn those calories. So people start eating with guilt. People start getting fearful of food. And all they need is self-discipline. You like food, eat it. Be a foodie, but why must you overeat? You like alcohol, drink, but why must you overdrink? I tell people the problem is not with sugar. The problem is not with alcohol. The problem is with the person. Because there are so many people who drink and they're absolutely fine. They don't become alcoholics. They don't mess up their livers. There are so many people who enjoy white sugar and they're absolutely fine. And there are some people where this destroys their life. The problem is with that person and self-discipline. So these would be my three tips. Instill 
self-discipline. The reasons why we can't instill it. Why is self-discipline so difficult? Number one, bitter, ugly truth. We have egos and pride. So we think that, oh, why should I do this? I have wealth and I have comfort. Why should I wake? Why should I go and get the TV remote? Let me buzz and get the servant to pick up the TV remote and give it to me. We think we earn that because we have wealth and we have position. Self-discipline doesn't matter whether you're a sheikh, whether you're a king, whether you're a queen, whether you're the owner of a company. Self-discipline is something that you will do every day over and over again until it becomes a habit like brushing your teeth. So these are my three tips for people to heal and have better lives.